what's going on family good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are and what time you're watching this man hey today's gonna be a little different for the simple fact that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come at you again uh, I'm gonna I'm come at you kind of strong I don't want you to take it personal but I do want you to take it to heart to know that it's time to put in the work it's time to do what you've been called to do uh, let's 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 go right into let's go right into your passions and your grind your passions and the dreams that you're chasing so, some of us me me included not so much anymore but some of you when someone asks you about your grind about your passion about that thing that about that thing that, that keeps you up at night about that thing that wakes you up early in the morning they don't believe in you because you're not saying it with conviction they don't believe you because you're not saying it with so much passion that it, just, it, it, it should it should have tears well up in your eyes because that should be how much you love your passion I see it. I see it. It's got to the point now where when someone asks you about your dream and your passion and they say, well, if that doesn't work, then what? You're giving them a plan B. I'm here today to tell you there is no plan B. There is no second option. Whatever that grind and that passion is, that is your first priority. That is your option number one. There is no backup plan. When you start saying there's a plan B, there's a backup plan to your plan A, you've already set yourself, set yourself up for failure. When you already give your mind, you give your subconscious the understanding that there is a plan B, you already made yourself a loser. And you do not lose. There is no plan B. Stop sabotaging yourself and cutting yourself off at the knees saying that, oh, I have a backup plan. There is no backup plan. You either succeed or you learn. You do not fail. There is no plan B. Stop, 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 stop minimizing yourself. Stop minimizing your greatness by saying, oh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to go do this. Stop it. Stop it. That's why you're not getting where you're supposed to be. Because you're giving yourself a backup plan just in case. How about you go 120? How about you go 150? How about you go 200% on that first option and do something with it? Instead of going 60%, 70% because you already got plan B in the pocket. Stop. How many times do I have to tell you your royalty, your greatness? You were put on this earth to do something amazing not in a plan B status. You can't be amazing in a plan B. You can be good in a plan B, but we're not about being good. We're about being great, about being amazing, about being the best. So be the best at your option A. Stop letting yourself fall into option B. I get it. I get it. I went through my, I went through my entire college, I went through doggone near my entire 20s living off of a plan B. 10 years of living off of a plan B. Why? For what? I didn't trust myself with options A. I didn't feel I had what it take, what it took to even get a, a option A. I got through my entire college career on, on options of plan B by the skin of my teeth. Now I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many years it takes me. My, my job is to pour life on the world in every way, shape, and form. I will save marriages. I will heal people. I will change people's lives. That is my option A. That is my plan A. I will be on stage in front of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. That is my option A. There is no, there is no other option. There is no plan B. There is no backup. Once I understood, I started organizing my thoughts, you know, there is no plan B, you chase that thing. I started to chase that thing. I don't care what it takes. I need to show people, I need to have people understand that if I can do it of all people, you can do it. Stop cutting yourself off at the knees with a plan B. 
That's why sometimes life is so hard because you're like, ah, I'm doing this thing. Yeah, I'm hyped up about it. But I got this in the pocket because that, that may not work out. Stop. Because guess what? It's going to work out if you do the work. You owe yourself the ability to be great in everything that you do. Stop allowing yourself to be less than what you are. There is no plan B. Take control of your life. Take control of your passion and put all you have into that passion. There is no other way. Either you do it or you don't. If you have a plan B to your passion and your dream, it's not a passion or a dream. It's something fun to do. It's a hobby. It's a daydream. You get a little glimpse and you don't even care about it. It's not a dream where every single night it haunts you. Every single night it encourages you. Every single night, every single night it brings you joy. Every single night it wakes you up out of your sleep and you just want to go chase it. That is the option A. You playing around with certain stuff because you got a plan B. Stop calling it a passion. Stop calling it a dream. Stop calling it a calling. You playing with it. Give it to somebody else. What I need you to do is take control. Take control, take accountability and responsibility for the gift you were given because you were given that gift for a specific reason. Don't waste it on something. Don't waste it on a plan B. Don't waste that gift because it will be taken away from you and you will be, you, you will be left. You will be left to your own mind and that's not what you want. Take control. Stop playing with it. We gonna close with this. I'm not even, I'm, there ain't no plan B. Get to work.